Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited to be here with you all announcing the second feature of December Club Quitabug. I am spotlighting the Friendly Expressions stamp set. I love this set. There are some really great sentiments included in this set, and I think you're going to really enjoy the card kit that I've got to go along with this stamp set. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video, and I'll give you all the details about Club Quitabug as we go. So it's super easy to get your Club Quitabug free project kit or card kit, as it is for this one, in the mail as a gift from me. All you have to do anytime to participate in Club Quitabug is simply place a minimum $40 order before tax and shipping in my online Stampin' Up! store, making sure that you use the host code, which I've got somewhere on the screen for you guys. Make sure that you use that host code. That's how I'm gonna know that you're wanting to participate in Club Quitabug and get the free uh, card kit in the mail from me. Just don't use that code. If if your order is $150 or greater because you'll still qualify to receive the card kit and you will earn Stampin' Rewards for free product. So I know that recently I have gotten a lot of new and beginning crafters who are watching my channel, so thank you guys so much. I appreciate you watching and subscribing. And I've had the opportunity to chat back and forth with several of you via email. And one thing that I've consistently heard is that you are not sure where to begin when you see a project created in a video. It seems like so many different products are being used and you're just not sure where to begin or what to order. So I wanted to walk you through when you place your order to receive this free card kit in the mail from me, what exactly you would need to complete the cards exactly as I have from start to finish. So let me first start by sharing with you the five projects, yes, five projects that we're going to create in my Friendly Expressions card kit. So here's the first card. I absolutely love this card. I think it's gorgeous. This would make a great wedding card, anniversary card, engagement card, so many different things you could use this card for, but it says congratulations to you. So pretty. And for all the cards, I featured the Frosted Floral Designer Series paper. So here is card number two. This one says, life is tough, but so are you. I love this card, love the heart. And I actually combined this Friendly Expressions stamp set with the Eclectic Layers framelits. I really love how they um, worked so well with this sentiment only stamp set. So there's card number two, card number three. Thanks for all you do. Love this frosted paper, it's beautiful. This paper is retiring, so if you're interested in picking it up, make sure you grab it now before it's gone. And then You Make Me Proud. I was so excited about this one because Pineapple Punch is one of my favorites. And I love that it was sprinkled here in the center of the flowers, so pretty. And then here's the fifth and final card, Happy to Know You. Very sweet and simple. So those are the five cards that we'll be making in this kit. Isn't that awesome? I love these cards. So all you would need to order from my online Stampin' Up! store to complete your Friendly Expressions card kit exactly as I have is, of course, you will need the Friendly Expressions stamp set. This is available in wood mount and clear mount. So this is clear mount, which means it's um, unmounted red rubber. The wood mount means that the red rubber stamp is mounted on a wood block. So if you're getting the clear mount, which is what I have here, you will also need one of our blocks. Um, I recommend the clear block H because this block will hold all five of these sentiments, so one block will do. Then for ink, I'll be using Night of Navy Powder Pink and Tranquil Tide. For adhesive, you'll need some snail adhesive, you'll need some Tombow liquid glue, and also some dimensionals. Then lastly, you'll need some scissors. Any scissors will do, but you could also pick up our paper snips, which I love. And that's it. Those are all the supplies that you need to complete my Friendly Expressions card kit. And I have linked to every one of these products down below the video in the description notes. And if you're watching this video over on my blog, you can also find a full supply list with clickable links over there as well. So I hope that information was helpful to you guys. Let's go ahead and jump right in and get started on this kit. So the great thing about Club Quitabug is envelopes are included with your kit. There's also a full color PDF with measurements and a full supply list included with your kit. And you get this video tutorial that you can always come back to and watch at your convenience to create your cards. So I'm starting with this piece of Whisper White for card number one, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my Tranquil Tide ink. And this is Tranquil Tide, right? Yes. <laughs> 
and I'm going to ink up my sentiment. I just re-inked this ink pad. Oh yeah, that looks good. Inking up my sentiment and I'm gonna have to scoot this closer. And I'm stamping the congratulations to you. And I'm just gonna put that right in the center, right about here should do. Ooh, that looks really good. That is all of the stamping. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold my card over. You can crease this with just your finger. If you uh, don't have a bone folder, you don't have to have a bone folder. I like to have one, but you do not have to. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece of powder pink cardstock, and I'm going to add this to my Tranquil Tide card base. Center that up, add it on right there. Okay, I love this frosted floral designer series paper. Everything's kind of got this pearlized look to it. So when you use your snail adhesive, you do want to kind of press down good. If you're using a light hand, sometimes it doesn't attach to that pearlized finish. And then I'm just going to center this up right on top there we go and then for the sentiment add some adhesive to the back and then we are going to put the sentiment all the way over to the edge of the card base I liked how that looked having it all the way over so I don't know if that ink is all the way dry I'm gonna press it like that there we go then you've got this little layer here. So this is a piece of powder pink cardstock. So again, I use those eclectic layers, um, thinlet dies for this. So you're just going to add this little layer right on top of this whisper white piece. If you have any little pieces stuck in there, you can pop those out with something sharp, scissors or paper piercer, whatever you have. Then I'm just gonna bring in my liquid glue. I'm just gonna add a little bit. It's going to get covered, so it's okay if it's poking through those holes. And I'm not going to line this die cut, these two die cuts up perfectly. I actually want them to kind of be offset. So I've got that slightly offset. So now I'm going to put my mossy meadow leaves down. So let's see. Where do I want those? Yeah, I think that actually looks pretty good. Okay, so to adhere those, I'm just going to use dimensionals. And then I'm going to put a third one right about there. I'm just making a triangle with those dimensionals. And then just pop my flower right on top that looks good then in your kit you've got one of these uh what are these clear clear faceted gems i think that's what they're called so you've got one of those clear faceted gems this is the largest size you're just going to pop that it's got adhesive on the back already just pop it right in the center of your flower and there you go that finishes up card number one very pretty card now you are going to want a way to clean your stamps. You could definitely use just baby wipes or wet wipes, that's totally fine. I do recommend the Simply Chamois, especially if you're a beginner, it's really easy to use. You don't have to have this case, um, but the case just helps keep your um, Simply Chamois moist, and I do sell these cases in my online store, but the case just helps keep it, uh, your Simply Chamois moist once you put your water on top, but you don't have to, you don't have to have it, and all you do is you just, in here, I barely have any water in here, and then there you go stamp clean so it's really really easy to use and I'll also have the Simply Chamois linked um, down below as well. All right let's jump into card number two so I'm going to grab this piece of Whisper White then I'm bringing in my Knight of Navy ink pad and my sentiment which says life is tough but so are you. So I'm just going to ink that up And I'm just gonna stamp the sentiment again in the center 
of this Whisper White. There we go. So my Night of Navy is very inked up, so I'm just gonna set that aside to dry. And while that dries, I'm gonna go ahead and get this Poppy Parade Heart hand cut out. So this heart is actually embossed onto this Poppy Parade cardstock. Again, this is from the Eclectic Layers. Uh, thinlet dies. So super easy to cut this out. It has very blunt sides to it. So I'm just going to leave a little border around each side and cut this right out. It's really easy. So now we can start assembling this card. So I've got a piece of gray granite for the card base. I'm just going to fold that over and crease. Then I've got a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock and then some more of that Frosted Floral Designer Series paper. I love this print. I'm gonna go ahead and add this onto my Knight of Navy and then put the Knight of Navy onto the front of my card so I'm just gonna center that up right about there looks good and then I will add adhesive to the back of this layer you definitely don't have to use as much as adhesive as I am but here in Texas uh, with the moisture in the air I need a lot of um, snail to make sure my card sticks nicely Okay, there's that. So I didn't put it in the center. I put it closer to the top than the bottom. Now I'm going to add my sentiment layer. Just center that up, let's see. Okay, yeah, that's straight. I don't know if my Knight of Navy is completely dry. Okay, there we go. Then for our heart, I am going to put dimensionals on the back. You do not have to put three. I'm definitely being excessive here. Okay, and then I'm just going to whoop, pop this heart right above life is. I think I want it right there. Yeah, give it a press. Okay, there we go. And that finishes up card number two. So for card number three, you've got this oval. This is a Whisper White oval that's been die cut using the Stitched Shapes Framelit dies. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my Thanks for All You Do sentiment in Tranquil Tide. And I wanna stamp this as low as I can on this oval. So let's see, right about there should be good. Oh yeah, that looks good. I'm glad I re-inked this, that looks great. Set that aside to dry and let's assemble. So you've got a Blackberry Bliss card base for this card. Then this is a piece of soft seafoam card stock. So we're just going to center this up on the front of our card base. Right about there looks good. Okay, then another piece of that Frosted Floral Designer Series paper. So pretty, I just love this paper. So I'm just going to add adhesive and this is going to stretch from top to bottom on our card. And I'm just going to leave a tiny little bit showing on the left hand side. I don't know if you guys can hear those coyotes howling. There are tons of coyotes howling outside of my house. It's really loud. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Okay, and if your designer paper hangs over the edge just a tiny bit, you can just snip that off. Wow, they are really loud. We have a whole family of coyotes. We live right across from um, just a field of trees and there's tons of coyotes in there. Okay, so now on this piece, 
we're going to add these little flowers. So I'm gonna poke out, you could leave these in if you like the way that looks, but I'm gonna poke these out, these little pieces. Now I'm just gonna bring back my liquid glue and get these, these little flowers adhered down. So I'm just putting just a very tiny bit. You don't need a ton. Just a very tiny bit of this glue. Okay, that should be good. And then I want this Blackberry Bliss one right about there. Maybe even a little bit lower actually. Right there. Okay, that looks good. Then get my powder pink one. Again, add adhesive to the back. Not too much, you don't want it to squeeze through the gaps. All right, and then I'm just going to slightly offset these two flowers. Oh, and I put too much glue. So see, that's why you don't put too much. And it looked like I put just a tiny bit, but I'm just gonna get that off with the sharp part of my pokey tool. You could also do this with your scissors. So this glue will dry clear, so it's okay. If it does come out a little bit, it'll dry clear, but I just like to get that out of those cracks. So you can see I got it all out of there with my little pokey tool. And now some dimensionals on the back of this. Alrighty. And I'll just add this right here looks good. Give it a press. Then you've got this piece of solid Whisper White Baker's Twine. I'm just gonna tie that in a bow. I wanna keep my loops small. Let's see, how does that look? Oh, that must be UPS. My doorbell just rang. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It was part of my pre-order arriving, so the other part comes tomorrow. All right, so I'm just going to put a little dab of uh, liquid glue. Normally I would use glue dots, but I'm gonna use liquid glue and just keep in mind that this liquid glue is gonna take a little bit of time to dry. So I'm using liquid glue just because I wanted to minimize the supply list for you guys, if you're beginners. But if you're not a beginner and you have glue dots, I would use those. So that is gonna take some time to dry and it will dry clear. And then I'm just going to go ahead and trim down my ends here. I think I'm gonna trim it a little bit shorter. Yeah, that looks good. All right, and there we go. Card number three is complete. All right, so here's everything for card number four. I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece of Whisper White and stamp the You Make Me Proud sentiment in Tranquil Tide. Okay. Just center that up, stamp it down. Looks good, set that aside to dry. Okay, so what I wanna do for this to start layering, you've got a Whisper White thick card base here and this will come pre-scored for you, this card base. Okay, so what I wanna do is I'm going to take my gray granite and I'm just going to lay it down. I'm not adhering it yet. I'm just going to lay it down and then I'm going to go ahead and adhere my designer paper on but I'm not adhering the gray granite yet. I want the designer paper to go from end to end on the Whisper White card base. So that's why I'm doing this first because we still need to add the ribbon on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add adhesive, but I wanted to make sure I had this lined up right um, before I adhere the gray granite piece down. 
Let me get that designer paper lined up right. Okay, I think I want it a little bit lower. Yeah, I like that. Okay. All right, so now we can go ahead and take these two pieces of pineapple punch ribbon, and I'm just going to put some adhesive right here at the top left and at the bottom left. And what I'm going to do is actually just stick that ribbon right into that adhesive and wrap it around. Okay, just press it really, really well into that adhesive. And then do the same thing with your other piece. Leave a little space, you want a little gap between them. Press it really, really well into that adhesive. Get it on there really good. Okay, I think that looks good. And now I'm just going to add adhesive and adhere this layer to the front of my card. And just make sure you line up that designer paper because the designer paper goes from edge to edge on the card base. There we go. But we had to do it that way so that we could get the ribbon on um, the designer paper afterwards. Okay, so I've got that added on. Now I'm going to flip over my sentiment, add a little bit of adhesive, and let's see, I'm gonna put this little bit of a pearlized doily hanging in the center beneath the sentiment, right about there. All right, I got some dimensionals on the back here. And now I'm just going to add my sentiment on and I want it to go all the way to the edge of the card base in the center of the designer paper, just like that. There we go, that finishes up card number four. All right, our fifth and final card. So let's go ahead and for this card, we're gonna go ahead and add our piece of designer paper onto this piece of Blackberry Bliss card stock. Got my adhesive on there and I'll just center this up. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and add adhesive on my Blackberry Bliss. And we're gonna add this to the Whisper White cardstock, but I'm gonna leave about a quarter of an inch of that Whisper White showing at the bottom. And then I'll just adhere that down. Then I've got my powder pink ink pad and I'm gonna stamp the Happy to Know You sentiment in powder pink. Okay, and I'm just gonna stamp this right above my Blackberry Bliss layer, so right there. Looks good. Okay, that looks really good. So now you've got some of this polka dot ribbon. This is polka dot tool ribbon. And I'm just going to wrap this around the center of my designer paper layer here and just tie a really easy bow. And this stuff actually ties pretty well. Yep, there we go. About there okay and then let me trim down this end perfect okay so for your card base you've got some powder pink card stock just give that a nice crease and then we are going to adhere this layer with dimensionals okay get my backings off here this card is super simple but it's really a sweet cute card I think this would make a really great friendship card. Okay, and we'll just center this up on the front of our card base. And there you go, our fifth and final card complete. 
All right, so I hope that you guys have enjoyed my Friendly Expressions free card kit. I really love this kit and I thought it was the perfect way to bring us into the new year. Just a kit that covers a bunch of different occasions. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Remember, you can get your free Friendly Expressions card kit as a gift in the mail from me simply by placing a minimum $40 order in my online Stampin' Up! store that's $40 before tax and shipping. Make sure that you use the host code that I've got somewhere here on the screen. Just don't use that code if your order is $150 or more, you will still qualify to receive this free card kit in the mail from me and you will earn Stampin' Rewards for free product. So thanks so much, you guys. I'll speak to you soon.